the postman's just knocked on the door and brought a present from Waterstones, but I don't remember buying anything. So I don't know if someone brought me a birthday present. Oh, no, I brought this a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Oh, gosh, I can't even remember buying this. It's You Are Here, Around the World in 92 Minutes by astronaut Chris Hadfield. And it's just a book of pictures of the Earth from space that he took. How cool is that? I completely forgot I ordered that. Hello again, it's April here and welcome back to another studio vlog. This week is just going to be a really short one probably because it's the weekend. I haven't filmed all week so it's just going to be like a little weekend vlog just today and tomorrow. But um, I thought I wanted, to, I wanted to get something out there because I wanted to have a video out for Monday. And I am planning to do lots of art stuff this weekend so I thought I'd just film some of it. I didn't really do anything last week to be honest. Just kind of chilled out. Um, it was a really busy week at work so I was just like chilling out in the evening didn't even draw really uh, apart from last night and just watching telly and I started this like new cleaning routine in the house where I'm doing like a bit a room a day so I was like cleaning every night um yeah just a super chill week so my Etsy shop is opening on Monday but I have everything done for it already I just need to kind of upload it and then maybe change my description like the about me description because that's quite old now it's like two years old so I'm not quite sure what it says and that's it, that's all ready to go. So I'm literally just gonna treat myself this weekend and have a nice chill art weekend. So there's quite a lot of stuff I need to catch up on. But it is uh, Saturday morning, about half 10. This morning we woke up really early and went for a walk in the woods, which was really nice. It was like a nice thing to do early in the morning just to kind of get you ready for the day. And they had all the army guys training because where we walk is like an army training ground. So there were like heaps of army people just kind of doing exercises and stuff which it's kind of fun to watch I guess but at the same time I'm like I just want to be in the woods by myself and then we came home and I had a smoothie and some delicious um scrambled tofu and veggies on toast while I played Animal Crossing and then I just uh played Animal Crossing for like an hour just chill out have a nice slow start to the day and now I'm gonna do some art so I have a lot of stuff to do today um I actually wrote a list down of everything I've been thinking of doing because I just have so many projects and videos and video series and sketchbook ideas that I want to do but the problem is you know sometimes you get overwhelmed with how many things you want to do and you don't know where to start which I guess is better than not having any ideas but I wrote down a whole list of things that I want to do just uh to get it off my brain you know because sometimes when you have the ideas in your brain you're like Ugh, you kind of like get anxious thinking about everything so I always find it, it helps to write write things down so I don't have to think about it but um I am 17 days behind on my 100 day project so to be honest I wasn't really feeling the plants like I do love drawing plants but I think drawing them that tiny and also I was trying to draw real life plants and just was kind of like I don't know, a little bit boring. So I did this one last night and it's kind of like a little fun little character kind of based on my little pots that I did. Like this. So I think I might do a couple more like that and just keep it fun and stuff. So before I move on to the next subject, which I'm not quite sure what that's going to be. But I know I'm not going to be drawing plants for too long because, I don't know. I love drawing them but I just want to change I guess. I also want to do a video for Thursday but I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that yet and just kind of get into my sketchbook. I've only got nine pages left of this Mossery sketchbook. Most of it already has paint on, so it's not starting from a blank page. So sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it isn't if you just want to sketch. But I might try and do a couple of pages of those today. I'm thinking it might be fun to get this done by the end of the month. So there's, actually I think there's 11 pages. No, there's 10 pages in here. There's 11 days left in the month. So I thought if I could try and get like a page a day done or maybe do a few this weekend, a few next week, and then it's done. And I can move on to a new sketchbook. Um, that'll be fun. New sketchbooks are always fun. And then I can do a sketchbook tour too. Yay. That's enough chit chat. I'm going to do some drawing and drink the rest of my green smoothie, which I made like an hour ago, but I've been sipping really slowly. It's spinach. Spinach and um, mango, papaya, banana, pineapple, a little bit of apple juice, some water. It doesn't look very nice, but it tastes delicious, trust me.
just after lunch now and uh, I have just finished painting two little plants so I did most of it before lunch so there's this little one here which I forgot to film it's like a little bonsai tree and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it actually in a sec and then this one here which I think is aloe hello 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 <laughs> you never had that one before I've got three little plants now that I've kind of done a little bit more like fun like with faces and little characters and border colors and things so yeah they've, they've been pretty fun to do but I'm not obviously going to catch up all 17 of my 100 day projects today and I'm not going to try so I'm not probably won't do any more until tomorrow but it was really nice painting those this morning and then we stopped and had lunch we had a delicious bowl of noodles with vegetables and tofu like kind of a stir fry kind of deal and I thought I would show you what I'm eating this weekend just because I've been trying to be a bit healthier and eat more like whole foods and less junk food. Uh, it's kind of okay. I mean, we went shopping on Friday and we didn't buy any, so there's none in the house, you know. But yeah, I'm just like trying to get a little bit more fit and do more walking and eat more healthily. I haven't done the Couch to 10K for a week, which I'm, I was meant to do, but I'll try and pick that up again next week. But basically just uh, trying to lose some weight and get a little bit fitter. So I know this is not like a fitness vlog or anything. Um, but it is like my life. So I thought I would share that. And maybe it's interesting for some people. It also might be nice to look back on in the future. And see if I succeeded or not. So yeah. I thought I would share with you my meals. Because I think they're looking pretty good. But right now I think what I'm going to do is some Draw This In Your Styles. So I found three Draw This In Your Styles on Friday I think that are really good. One is super popular and has been making the rounds on Instagram and the other two I haven't really seen many of so I'll probably start with those ones first. Just because they're not the typical um, pretty girl kind of ones I'm really liking when people do the Draw This In Your Styles when they're kind of like animals. I even saw a really cool house one that I forgot to do a few months ago but it's fine I'm sure something will pop up in the future so I'm just going to watch YouTube in the background and draw in my sketchbook so this is the first draw this in your style I'm doing by Scopflin illustrations and I just really loved I really loved the color combo and just how cute the cat was and everything so I did a little sketch and I've just done this now I did change a couple of little bits which I think is always encouraged and draw this in your styles so I I included the entire cat to begin with just because I love drawing the fluffy tails um, and I also did the eyes closed because you can probably see I did a razor but I did draw the eyes big um, kind of like how they are in here but it just looked really weird like it didn't look like me at all so I just drew them with the eyes closed which is very similar to the cat I drew from uh, Emma Carpenter's challenge which is this one here but what can I say I love a sassy cat <laughs> and something about them having their eyes closed and like a little expression it just I don't know just just like I'm better than you so that's just what I think if I ever have a cat I want it to think it's better than me and it's all snooty and stuff but also loves a good cuddle as well so I think I'm gonna do this in procreate just because just because I want to really So it's just um, mid-afternoon, Martin was hungry and wanted a snack but because we're trying to be healthy we don't have any crisps in the house so we're going to try and make microwave crisps which I just saw on the YouTubes. So they're just cooking in there, apparently after the next 28 seconds they're going to be crispy. <laughs> it sounds too good to be true. 
Moment of truth. Ooh. Ow, the plate is hot. They're kind of sticking to the plate a bit. You know what, they've actually gone crispy. Look at that. Crazy. Okay, so we, we spent, it took about, I'd say 20 minutes to make these and it is quite a long process. Some of them are a little bit soggy, but some of them are actually really crispy. Look at this one. Crazy, huh? So it's about 5.30 now and I just, I've almost finished this draw this in your style. It's turning out super cute. Um, I had most of the colours correct, like in my colour palette, so I just used those. I had to make the purple up though, because I don't have that purple. So when, um, I'm just going to do the shadows and the line up, but right now it's absolutely beautiful outside. So we're going to go for another walk. Yay, walk in! Because I've basically been sitting down all day since like 8.30. So go for another walk before dinner, and then tonight um, I think I've got a few little bits to do for the Etsy shop. So yeah, I'll show you later. <sighs> Such good lighting, attractive. If I turn this one off. Oh, that's bad. No, that's not bad. Okay, um, so we got back from our walk and now I've just almost finished cooking dinner. I'm just gonna pop it in the oven. I thought I'd show you we're having stuffed peppers tonight. And it's something my mum used to make a lot as a kid and I never liked it because um, she didn't like mints and I've never liked mints. And I also didn't really like peppers. But um, as an adult, I've grown to love peppers. I've grown to like them. They're okay. Um, don't know how this is gonna turn out, but hopefully it'll be nice. So I basically just made like a rice mixture and it's got a whole, whole bunch of stuff in there. It's got carrots, uh, pea sweet corn, um, pineapple and spices and stuff, and also two smushed up uh, veggie sausages. And then I just popped it into some peppers. The lighting is so bad, I'm sorry, but I promise it does actually look quite appetizing from go over to the window okay that's better see it actually does look quite appetizing in the right light so we got dinner now it's uh the stuffed peppers they came out pretty good a little bit burnt on top with some salsa and some salad looks pretty good It's Sunday morning and uh, breakfast is in the oven. We're having a cooked breakfast this morning because it's Sunday. Sometimes we have it like maybe a couple times a month. And um, I've just been printing because I want to do a few things for my Etsy shop tomorrow because I realised I'm a bit low on my Belzine. I have one, so very low. I don't know if anyone will buy it, but it's better to have it just in case. And I'm only making like three, so it's not like going crazy. And also, surprise twist, uh, my memo pads to make maybe four I think just four for now because they take ages to make and obviously they have to be um, cut and stuff and glued so this is what they look like if you guys haven't seen it I did a video uh, a few weeks ago and it's basically just like a memo pad and they have cute little animals on them they do take ages to make because I have to cut them all by my paper cutter and then by hand and then glue them together but they do come out quite nice like obviously not professional but um you can see like some of the pages there are not super lined up but for a little cute handmade item I think they're quite nice so I'm not quite sure um how well they'll do just because just because on Etsy I was looking around and a lot of the memo pads are priced at like really cheap like two pound fifty three pound um, I don't know if they get those outsourced or not, but I'm making it all by hand, so I'm including all my time and, you know, how much it costs to print the paper and stuff. So I'm probably going to pop them up for like 4 50 um, that's what I was thinking to start with. I don't know if that's a good price or not, but we'll just see how it goes. I mean, Etsy I think is just trial and error really for the first year, maybe, <laughs> I'm not sure. But yeah. And I got my zine printing, which is the Bell and Bear zine. So, I was looking at the weather. Looks like it's going to be cloudy and sunny, so in between the clouds and suns, I'm going to uh, take some photos. Let's have a look at little Beryl's head here. I sprayed her with some water this morning. She's looking a bit floppy, but we'll see if she grows. Hopefully she grows. It's been about two hours since I last spoke to you. I actually ended up um, editing my vlog. 
and just yesterday and I've got all of my desk ready so um, I'm gonna make the memo pads first and then on the bed over here on my storage system on the bed I have my three zines ready to go and got my coffee got my water um yeah so I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and get on with it but I thought first I thought I would show you yesterday I did finish the cat I forgot to show it yesterday but I actually did it while I was making dinner kind of um, in between doing stuff so I think it turned out super cute and I really love it and um, it's on Instagram on my Instagram right now which is there and I'll just show you quickly um, Scott Flynn illustration so it's Mandy Lenson she is based in the Netherlands and she has just uh, reached 2k which is why she did her uh, draw this in your style and her artwork if you haven't uh, found her yet on Instagram definitely go check her out because her artwork absolutely beautiful I love her style so much it's like kind of whimsical magical and cute all at the same time so yeah definitely go check her out if you haven't already and maybe even if you feel like drawing a cute little magical cat um, into her draw this in your style I'm sure she'd really love that <laughs> Got a delivery van idling outside our window. Happens about 11 times a week. Because we live in um, a big block of flats. It's not a block, it's called a court. So it's like a U-shaped building with uh, lots of flats. It's like 120, but obviously we only see our neighbors like around us. Um, we get a lot of food deliveries, a lot of delivery vans, and it's quite noisy sometimes when you're trying to sleep. The other a few weeks ago we had a delivery van outside the house, Tesco I think. I'm not blaming Tesco guys, I love Tesco, but it was like 11.30 and he was just out there idling. I don't know what he, he was delivering to at 11.30 at night, God knows, but it was so annoying. An idling car or van is my third least favourite sound to listen to when I'm trying to get to sleep. I have categorised them. The second least favourite is the fan, but sometimes when it gets really hot and we have the fan on, but last year um, it clicked, so like it rotated, and then as it went, got to the end of this rotation, it went click, and then it went back around, and it went click, and it's like repetitive, that was really annoying. But the first least favourite sound, I'm sure this is for everyone, is a group of people having fun. <laughs> Who wants to listen to someone else's party when you're falling asleep at night? And there's a flat um, above us and to the right. And they have been having a party every night for the last, I want to say like four or five nights. I think they have friends staying or something. I don't know. But they are so loud. And because of the acoustics, it like bounces around the walls. And then it comes right through our window. So had the window shut and the fan on to fall asleep the last few nights. And it's not the best because I do like fresh air. So... Um, not quite sure how this fits into the studio vlog, but I just wanted to share that with you because I saw the delivery van outside. We're just about to go quickly for um, a walk into town. Really don't want to go because they've opened all the shops up in England the last week, so it might be busy, but we're going to go the back way so we can just like sneak into Sainsbury's because we want to pick up a few bits for the next few days, like uh, fruit and stuff. So we got back from town, it wasn't too bad in town um and i finished cutting up all of these things it took me about an hour and a half to cut with the machine and then trim them all the only problem is i have like um a pain in my finger now from pressing on the ruler so oh, it kind of hurts see here like this indentation ruler indentation um yeah so i'm gonna put these together after lunch and then move on to my zines which I'm just gonna fold up and um, yeah make with my with my new stapler that I got um, a while ago we also got our ice lolly makers in town I've been looking for them for a while every time I go to like a different supermarket and I haven't been able to find any I was gonna buy some online but they were like 12 pound because I wanted to get super fancy silicon like no BPA organic whatever I don't know it was just like a fancy one but this one is just from Bill Co. It was like a pound fifty, so probably not. Like I'm sure it has BPA in it, which is like a chemical that you get in plastic. But for one pound fifty, 
I'm going to try and make some ice lollies later. I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow, but um, yeah, if I don't do it today, I'm sure I'll pop it on next week's vlog. That should be pretty fun. Uh, tonight, actually, I want to make some tarts. I don't know if they're called tarts or pastries. It's made with puff pastry, but it's like an apple and raspberry tart that I saw on YouTube, and it sounded so yummy, so I'm going to make that as a little treat tonight. But uh, I'm talking about food because I'm really hungry. In the oven and on the counter. Um, just like leftovers from from your last night with some potato on the side so that'd be nice and I actually came on here to tell you that I was watching Liz's vlog and she was talking about making thank you cards and I remembered I haven't made thank you cards yet so I have to do that <sighs> there's just so much I need to do and I didn't realize I thought on Friday that I was having a super chill weekend because all my Etsy stuff is up blah 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 but then I remembered there's so much stuff I need to do like I need to do my zines those stickers the thank you cards I still need to do my Etsy listings like I need to put them on like publish them and then I need to check them and then I need to do my description for Etsy just in case like it's different and I need to do my vlog and I need to oh do a post for Instagram for tomorrow to say like my Etsy shop is up so there's so much stuff I need to do and I was getting a little bit like you know but it's fine I'm just gonna have lunch chill out and then um just get on with it after lunch so just keep on cruising. Oh, by the way, yes, I have changed my top again. Um, it was really hot out, so I got a little bit, you know, sweaty. So I changed. Uh, it happens. I normally change my clothes like three times a day, but it's not like fancy. It's just literally going from like one comfy pajama top to another, basically. Let's go eat lunch. So this is lunch today. It's the leftover rice from last night with some baked potatoes, salad, and sriracha. Mm -mm -mm, looks pretty good. So I folded up three of my Inktober zines, uh, Bell and Bear and Baguette, and now I'm going to staple them using this stapler here. And this is the most uh, scary part, stapling the zines, just in case the stapler goes wrong or anything, and then you've kind of like ruined the zine. But uh, with the stapler, it does make things easier, so let's give it a go. And I'm just double checking it straight from the bottom too, just in case, just in case it's a bit skew if. I'll tell you what, this... It, it is scary, you know, even with this stapler, I still get scared it's going to be off. Okay, so that one is perfect in the middle and in the middle. Yay! So we got one that we can sell. Oof. Phew! Now, this is the one that I made a while back, so you see it's nice and trimmed. And now I've just got to trim these two here, and it's done. So we just went for a walk in the woods because it was so nice out and there's this really there's this walk that we go on that you go up a really really steep hill like like this like your feet slide back if you don't have footing and I did try and take a video of it but it's not very steep in the video it's not actually like that steep from camera but no it doesn't it looks even less steep than that trust me it is steep and about two weeks ago when we first started doing like daily walks we we, we used to like do lots of walks but I've been trying to do like a walk every day now because obviously the weather's so nice and it's just nice getting out and I my my watch used to tell me that I was like close to death um <laughs> heart rate wise like on that hill and today it was like yeah you're doing okay April so yeah I'm pretty happy with that so I think my fitness has improved a little bit I'm gonna make dinner now and I'm also gonna make some apple and blackberry turnover -y things so I'll show you what they look like when they're done um, I have done my thank you card for Etsy, pretty much everything's done for Etsy apart from doing the listings. Gonna do that later. There's a guy outside delivering food and he's whistling. He's very happy. So I'm pretty sure I'm done with my Etsy stuff now. I need to print those thank you cards out and cut them and that's it. Everything's done. And oh, I still need to do a post for tomorrow for Instagram, but I know what I'm gonna do for that, so I just need to draw it. I think my plan tomorrow is to get up super early in the morning. In the morning, I can't say morning properly, so I just say morning, I say it's stupid. Uh, I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and do my Etsy listings so that they're ready to go, so after work I can just press go. Um, yeah, that's it really. Hopefully I'm gonna do that a little bit more drawing tonight and then chill out rest of the night it's pretty late now it's like 6 30 so gotta get on with dinner for dinner we have uh thai sweet corn chowder mm -mm -mm. 10 o'clock now and i just did this little illustration 
from my Etsy shop. I think it's really cute. It's uh, the same monkey I did in my other one that, that said, uh, don't hang around. And this one says, you'd be bananas to miss it. <laughs> Get it? B bananas, because monkey. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all I've got uh, going right now. I'm pretty tired now, so I think I'm just gonna pop in bed, maybe play some Animal Crossing, and then get up tomorrow early and do some uh, Etsy stuff, get it all ready. But yeah, pretty excited about tomorrow. Should be good, hopefully get some sales and have a good have a good Etsy shop opening. So I'll say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow before I log off. I was almost gonna say vlog off then. <laughs> Bless you, Martin. I'll see you tomorrow before I vlog off. <laughs> It's Monday now, just after work, and I'm gonna close off the vlog here. I'm gonna vlog out. So by the time you watch this, my Etsy shop will be open. So go check it out if you like. Uh, do some window shopping or some real shopping. I don't mind. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. It was a bit of a weird vlog this week. Two days only. One day relaxed. One day a little bit manic. But we got through it. And yeah, I'm super excited for my Etsy opening. It's gonna be in just an hour. So I hope that you like it too and that you enjoyed the vlog. Have a lovely week and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.